right, all right, all right. Don't learn today. Don't learn today. Oh, hush. All right. It is now six o'clock. Hey, now. This is your girl, Heather Javon. This is 104.5 WRFU. Yes. We don't have any guests today. I'm letting you know already. No guests. It's just us. Us three. You know. We gonna do some recapping of where we've been. What we're about to do. You know. Coming up soon. You know. We're gonna talk about um, the recapping of our six months on the air. Um, we're gonna talk about things that are going on now around town. We're also gonna try to get... Um, some people to at least try to comment a little bit more while I'm streaming live right now. Um, we're gonna just make it a little bit, you know, open and, and, and fun, I should say. Um, I don't know, we might be able to accept the call, we'll see about that. <laughs> but let me read this disclaimer first, all right? This is WRFU. This is an open forum for Urbana, Champagne, and the online community. Views expressed are those of the speakers and are not intended to represent WRFU, UC, IMC, or Urbana Socialist Forum. I just like to give a couple of shouts out to people that like literally tune in every single Saturday. I see, you know, like the usual people that do, you know, try to watch a little bit of my video even though I know it's long all right that is acceptable that you at least watch five to ten minutes of my live video on Facebook I am on Facebook and that is Heather Javon I stream live from my personal page soon that will um, not exist at all I will be streaming from the YouTube channel soon I do have that up and running that is Heather Javon Rose I also am on um, Instagram and my Instagram is HJ the motivational seeker <laughs> I got all these names you need to just pick one right but anyway um, I'm also um, just doing a couple of things um, as far as like I want to launch my blog. I do have it already published, but I only have one page that's actually saying anything and it's talking about time. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what else. It's already getting a little bit hot in here. I unplugged the um, fans. I thought it would probably be a little bit um, noisy. So, um, We'll see how things work. Yes, Kiki is in the building, but he's never on um, the camera. I don't know. I just rolled my she eyes. She keep the camera away from me. That's why. Yeah, <coughs> right. Whatever. You hear me? Go ahead and switch it right here. No, you, Sit right my, here. Ty got go right there. He can. He can. He can be right here. No yeah. matter of fact, see, we are right? switching it up. So I will not be I, doing. I, I will not be doing the whole entire. <laughs> see. <laughs> Ain't no see. I will not be doing the whole entire show, you guys. Yes, I'm going to step back a little bit. I need to do some other things, all right? I'm going to try to get these guys to, to do a little bit more, all right? Um, I just want... You're going to break that no, one. I ain't. I ain't one that you nothing. bought. I ain't going to touch nothing. Yeah, right. So, anyway, it is March the 2nd. Oh, my gosh. We've been on air for more than six months now. Yes, yeah, six I'm months. So happy, so 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 happy, and um, proud. I've been pulling these guys along for the whole ride, and just making sure that we're consistent with the things that we are trying to uh, do in the community, and that's voice our opinion, but at the same time being motivational um, every step of the way. We're gonna try to at least um, be seen more in the community as far as like helping out and just us three. That's Tisha. I know her. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, we waiting on Tiger. He he should be showing up soon. But um, we gonna we gonna get into it. Um, what you wanna talk about today? Stop doing that. Just sit talk about, right here talk about how, how good you are. How, how you. Appreciate you for putting us on this radio. The great job you're doing with your guests. 
bringing up good issues and I can getting, barely hear you. I don't know. Being good questions out of people. I can hear you, but I can't. Oh, yeah. Let me get on this mic. Yeah, go ahead. Talking about, talk about how good you are, a, good, a wonderful woman. How you, Karen Man Tiger. You know, you know, you having great people on the show, bringing the great issues about this community. And everybody got solutions and coming coming together and put stuff together. You know, one day it all gonna form. Everything takes time. It don't happen overnight. You know. And everybody got good solutions, you know, that's got to form them together. Like the good thing you did for Douglas and then getting that thing off of the floor, was it floor or something? Yes, I'm glad yeah, you, you talked that, that talk about here. that. You brought yeah. that gas in um, here. You brought that gas in here. D-White came yeah. in uh, a month ago. And we yeah. were talking about doing like a fundraiser and try to uh, renovate uh, the Douglas floor. And in which he already has some um, people that is willing to donate to Douglas Center and for the calls that we were talking about on air. Mm -hmm. So we just put it on hold for a little bit. We got some of it, you know, ready to go, but we have to talk to a couple of different people in order to like get the actual go ahead to to make an actual fund page or raise the money in order to complete this actual uh um, well, just give me the money I'm gonna do it. Oh hush. So don't don't worry about that. We going we gonna bring it back up with the Douglas thing. All right. We didn't just fold we did not fold on that idea at all. That vision will come to light yep. real soon. I know she keep working, she gonna get it. Yes. Yeah, we have a great show with the bishop. We have we got Aka on here. We had Missy, Missy Richland. Uh, we had uh James Kelsey, Kilgore. Kelsey, Kelsey Marlin. Marlin. Ariel. Yes. Young, young entrepreneurs. What that young brother you had on there one time? Oh. Malik. Terry. We had also um the brother when last I was week. by myself. Um William. William Jordan. Yeah, the brother last week was um, excellent. Martel Miller. Martel Miller, he got a great, he got a great plan. He and he working hard. Yes. Well, he had, yes. Uh, well, he had um. Yes. A, well, he had a banner center somewhere. Uh, the township. The township, so, yeah. You, if you got any, any problems with anything, go see Martel. Mm -hmm. The township in Urbana. He 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 a man Cunningham. of action. Cunningham. And he a man of action. Yep, Cunningham Township. Yep. So we had a lot of people on the show. Hello, Pastor. I don't want to mess his name up. Caruthers. I think that's his name. Caruthers. Caruthers. I'm sorry. I'm messing up your name, but um, he wanted me to um announce. Um, hey cousin, how you doing, Patrice? So I love you too. Yeah, family you, you know, look at it. Look, hush. <laughs> but um, the pastor has a a program that is called Step. I don't. I didn't, I'm. Not, I'm just going off the top of my head. I did not write this stuff down. I just hurried up and read it earlier today. He said he has some um, pastor. Go ahead and uh, submit that information right now, so everybody can at least read it. I'll tell you to come up here. You can okay. Talk. So when they do, when they do do they uh, check check this out, they'll be uh, able to read it. Okay. I'm proud of you too. Thank you for for paving the way for me, though. Yeah, we all proud of her, Miss Palemore. All right, sharing thoughts on effective parenting. Yes. So, um, Ooh, that's a good one. so the pastor at uh, Dublin Street, I think it's Dublin Dublin Street Church, is having some more information. He's gonna be uh, submitting that to me real quick. <laughs> so I can read it. But um, yes, we are up and willing for more of the comments. We are um, ready to hear from you guys. We've just been winging it. Um, okay, so Monday at 7 p.m. This Monday at 7 p.m., he will be doing the STEP program and it's more for parents. We're trying to get more parents involved in our community. Okay. Yeah. We're trying to get them more involved in order to step up. And if not step up, we just want to hear from them, you know, and then be a support team for those parents because I'm going through it right now. Um, Pastor said it's uh, the step program will be this Monday um, at 1401 West Dublin Street. Okay. That might be a good program. So, step program. 
So parents, you know. We need more parents. We need more people to support. Especially in the area, area and time we're in now, you know, we need parents to support these children, get behind their children, and lead. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it ain't the parents, though, because sometimes children, you know, you can have good parents and still go astray. Well, you know, it's like, you know, you just got to take a chance and, you know, show them your best. As long as you show them the right way, that's the only way you can show them. You can't make them do nothing anyway. I'm trying to fix my camera. See? Yeah. You got Tiger in the building. This is the man right here. No, you're not. You better come up here. This the man right here, Tiger. I'm trying to fix my camera, but... It ain't working. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some new equipment so you know. Yeah, she hopefully ballin', she ballin'. hopefully somebody can uh donate some uh, like, equipment. If you got your in contact check, we take donations. Yes we do. It's tax season. Yes we do. Please, please Soon donate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna announce my cash app. You know what I'm saying? Name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Bring down the studio, put it in my pocket. I don't know <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yes. So we are making things happen. Uh, most of the time when we bring um, the interviewees in, we discuss a lot of things. What what have we talked about? What well, haven't we not talked about? That's the question. <laughs> we're what talking about everything. We talked we're talking about, about everything, relationship in the, in the community, to help and raise the children in the community, the, the uh, poverty, the... Uh, Dysfunction, dysfunction, uh, dysfunctional families. Mm -hmm. Youth violence. Youth violence. Violence. Period. Uh huh. All type of stuff. How, how to communicate with the children instead of talking to them, talk to them. Uh -huh. Relationships. We talk about relationships. relationships. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yes, yeah. we have. Um, we didn't talk about a lot of different Books. things. Like last Books, last right? week, like uh, brother last week, Martel was talking about Black History. Black History. Mm -hmm. He was like, "Why is it Black History? Yeah, it's not no history." Mm -hmm. You know, how they tell you certain things that want you to know, not things that you need to know. Right, right. You know, we talk, we uh, touched on a lot of things in these past six months. So, what I can't even remember, I gotta go back and look, listen to the old shows. Okay. Hey, Tiger, put your input in. Tell the people what's going on. Oh, yeah, congratulations to Tiger. He got an award. What was that? Yes, he did. Tuesday? Yeah. What was that? Uh, name of the award? Uh, Social Justice Community Service Award yeah, from the Muslim Justice. American Society. Yeah, the Ma Mass, Mass Muslim yeah. American Society in, in Champaign, Urbana. Mm -hmm. doing, he do great work in the community with the, with the youth. Yes. And he always out there giving knowledge, either financial, entrepreneurship, or wisdom. You know, he share everything. He don't hold nothing back when he talking to you. No, nah. no, nah, we don't, man. No, I'm talking about you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, man. thank you, know. you for all the support, you guys. Yeah. Every person that does, like, tune in and actually, like, views view the actual video. Thank you so much for the support. I, I do believe that if I wasn't streaming live, that most of the people probably wouldn't even tune in just due to the fact that um, we're not – we don't know that 104.5 is available in the central um, Illinois area in which it does serve Urbana and Champaign. 104.5 um, plays a variety of music. Um, it's not just for hip-hop fans. It's not just for um, country fans. It's a mixture of, I should say, alternative music. It's a mixture, a little bit of everything, you know, so... Yeah, you should be you should be versatile when it comes to music. All music got good messages no matter who's singing. Yes. You know, yes. Whatever race they got, it's good music in every every genre. Yeah. Oh, he also said um at Dublin Street Church that they have tutoring every uh Saturday from nine to eleven in the morning. Um, from nine to eleven? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. school so, or what? I mean, whoever's tuning in, we we are reading comments. We are reading on input right now. Um, we just winging it this Saturday. Um, we don't have any anything particular that we're talking about, but we're just showing love and um, encouraging more people to view um, and tune in and listen to WRFU 104.5. This is a community radio. Um, we volunteer every single Saturday we, we do this because this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to motivate more people to, to own up to 
the commitment to change our community and to improve our community and unify our community the best way we know how. Um, this camera is about to pee me off for real. Because it's, it's not working. What's wrong with it? It's not working. So, what do you mean? It's um, not working? Oh, look I at don't it. know. What you is it doing? It's going, it's, it's doing something. It's no, going. it's just auto adjusting. Oh, but, okay. um, you got, you, you about to move. See? Mr. Tiger. Who, me? Yeah. Why? Because you, you finna move over on this side. We finna play oh, she musical said she chairs. She said play musical chairs today. Yes. You in oh. charge. Yes. I don't mind being in charge. Yes, 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 You yes. wanna play it? So. Baseball season um, kicking off. Go Cubs. Oh, uh, Spring my. training. Oh, shit. Yeah. The boys don't look so hot, but we doing good. Zach well, McGee. since you wanna brag, um, yes, I am in the first strings. I'm one of the one of the coaches at um in the oh, look at youth that. Douglas youth yeah. program. It's a basketball uh program called First Strings. Yeah, Mr. McFarland's been doing it for a long time. Um, yes, my team did one uh great thing. We won today and we we took home the uh, championship. That is a shout out to Assurance Creek. A Assurance Creek, so with the A, Assurance Creek. Um, they sponsored um, our team, and um, it was a wonderful and amazing. Um, but at the same time, uh, it gives the mothers, the students, um, a chance to come out on Saturdays and actually see um, and compete, I should say, and play basketball. Um, a lot of people are... Um, getting more involved with this particular program. You know, last year we only had so many teams. I heard this year we had a lot more uh, teams, including uh, students that did sign up. So it's getting bigger and bigger. And at the same time, while First Strings and some of these uh, programs are getting bigger and we are using Douglas as a facility, we need to be able to hold these people inside this particular center in which it's kind of crowded in there in which we need to revamp or re, re renovate the actual center so that's when um it comes into play when we did talk about it with d white about the douglas center being a little bit more like the leonard center all right the we, it could be the black leonard center i don't care but the reason why we wanted to like do something and put our money where our mouth is is because I believe that we can have a renter center. I mean, dang, a Leonard center, <laughs> a <Renner> center. <laughs> not Renner center, you know, a, a Leonard center, center yeah. in yeah. the Renner black center. community yeah. in which we can, you know, Renner have center. our own inside, you know, inside track, uh, daycare center. I mean, I'm thinking big. Yeah, that's good. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking real big. Are you sure but you want a Renner center? We gotta hush. Okay. We gotta make sure we put our money where our mouth. Back when we no drop off, so you gotta come be. You seen the game? Yeah, you been, I know. You, you seen how we took it. You the got W. You know what I'm saying? Rodney Brown, we took the W. You feel me? You cheated. Let's switch. <laughs> no, we didn't. Let's All switch, right? Coach. All right, so. Coach, let's um, switch. Here go. Coach. We funny. <laughs> Pastor say we funny. Come Thanks, on, Pastor. Yeah. Come on, Coach. Come on out. Put me in, team. Oh, shit. You got a man right here. You finna take over? You finna take over, y'all. You look at how the boots. I had to got the Fly Valley boots. <laughs> the flowers? Yeah, they was five dollars too. What you doing? Um, back when we had Route Twenty One. You talking about something five dollars? <laughs> I still got my five dollar case yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, all right. Look, I'm on this side. That's good, good. Larry, we gonna see Larry smoke uh Larry real soon. He gonna be on. Real soon. Larry come by the Larry visit right will now. be uh we got a lot of activity in up the here too, in the man. building soon. Yeah. What's um, up? What's up with all that activity out there? What's that dance? I don't know. We had we we walked into something. Mm -hmm. What they got going on out there, Rob? Somebody said, "What's going on, Frog?" It was like an art show. An art show? Yeah. What's up, Rodney? Right. What's up, my main man? Hey. My man Rob Ward. Okay. He we go to the uh, you still go to the Juvenile Correctional Center? What you do? Uh, no, I work at the university. University? When you yeah. say you know something? Do you remember what we were talking about? Uh, 
Well, I work for uh, the Dream House. Yeah, the Dream House man right here. Dream. Yeah, right. you know, he do My stuff. He do stuff in the community. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Ronnie Brown, how you doing, man? Yes. I'm doing uh, uh, workshops on race. For, for you doing oh, workshops on race okay. for the kids? Okay, is it for the older kids? Yeah, middle school. Kids. Okay, okay. That's what I want. Just tell them a little bit about it. Just tell us a little bit about it right quick, bro. We just, there's no form today, man. No, we freestyling today. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's get into it. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can have a seat. Okay. All right. Okay. Look hey, how that is. No, nah, I ain't sitting on there. <laughs> Come on, conduct, do your business. All now. right, y'all. Hey, Go ahead. Say back. your name again. Uh, my name is Rob Ward. I am uh, uh, a doctoral candidate in educational policy, policy studies at the University of Illinois. Okay, my man. All right. Speak up the mic. All right. And so I also, uh, in addition uh, to working at the university, um, I also uh, just recently started working with... Uh, um, uh, Mr. Tracy Day said uh, at the Dream House, um, working on uh, doing programs for for youth on hip hop and, and race. Cool, all right. man. That's all what's right. up. That's what's up. Uh, man, what got you started with all this? What what uh, what inspired you to go to a doctoral program? I just finished a master's, man. I don't know if I can do it no more. I can't. Well, I, you know, it started off with a, a very simple goal. Um, in uh, in undergrad, I figured out that I wanted to be a, a college professor, okay. and so uh, I just kept walking that path, trying to get there. And so uh, okay. it brought me here. Uh, I started uh, my undergrad uh, at the University of Wisconsin, mm -hmm. uh, Lacrosse, and uh, it ended up leading me here. I came here actually uh, back in. Um, it had to be. Like early two thousands, okay. Uh, to protest the chief, yeah. Um, and so oh, it was a big thing back then. I was part of uh, the uh, the American Indian Movement, okay. Um, and we would go around to uh, um, different sports teams that had Native American mascots mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. protest. Mm. And this was the worst place that I had ever been. Like, oh wow. People goodness. fighting and spitting. And we they had armed still guards. Having problems. Wow. Oh yeah, it's wow. serious. Like I mean, the attachment. Of the mm -hmm. Illinois fans to that chief yeah. is something yeah. serious. Yeah, it is. Um, I thought I never thought in a million years that I would end up here, so but wow. here I am. I so see what, what, what is the big? You no, know, I'm not not trying to sound like blind, but what is the main issue with Native American, Native with the Indians and sports and stuff like that? Like that, the mascot. What is the main yeah. issue with that? Um, it, it, what it comes down to is uh, somebody using your culture um, as a as a way to market their team or make money. Mm. And yeah. so, uh, I mean, you think about it, um, there's no other um, group of people, ethnicity of people, culture, um, where they have uh, a mascot, they use they use as a mascot and they don't have control of it. That's true. Right. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So very, you think for, a lot of people point to um, the Fighting Irish in Notre Dame. Yeah. But, uh, but it's a Catholic school, and when it was formed, like the Catholics were the Irish. And okay. so, um, okay. yeah, it's controlled by the Irish. And mm. a lot of people point to uh, the uh, the Vikings, the right. Minnesota Vikings. Right. Um, and that's a that's a cultural icon. But uh, most of Minnesota is made up of Norwegians. And so, like, they can they control that. I got you. I Makes got sense, you. Man. So, so with that being said, I don't know if you can hear me, but mm -hmm. with that being said, yeah. I, I still see a lot of people having that sticker. Mm hmm um, I've worked at a place, I ain't gonna say no names, but they even have mm, 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 wallpaper mm -hmm. of the chief yeah. in the break room. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and that right there is just like, it's disrespectful. Absolutely. You know, and mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. learn about certain symbolisms, I should say, that a lot of teams do use that they shouldn't. Right. You know, yeah. I didn't I didn't understand until I actually got into, you know, um, a higher study, I should say. But it's, it's disrespectful. And a lot of people, like you said, are attached to it. And it's real. Oh, yeah. It's real irritating that, you know, uh, a Caucasian can actually dress up like the chief and really act like 
you know, they yeah. are yeah. from that tribe or something. Exactly. And everybody can yeah. just say like, oh, it's okay. Yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. still want them to come back and they'll fight about it and, yeah. you know, different stuff oh, like Heather, that. And Heather that's been important. thinking about this, man. She yeah. got, you can tell. Good one, yeah. Yeah. I mean, because I've seen some of them on Facebook. The they, no, they, got no, a, uh, they got a group, yeah. it's called Firm or something. I don't know. Um, and mm -hmm. It's a group called Firm. I don't okay. know what it's called, but they're trying to fight against the racial mascot and that's probably the name of it fight against racial mascots or something i don't know something, about right. something like okay. that mm -hmm. but it's just really crazy how El illinois illini just still wants that chief yeah. Yeah. i see i see the new mascot uh that they trying to draw up uh with an army veteran or something or a war some with a war veteran oh really yeah i know it's been in the works like so, so the they students no, no, the, you no. Better not. well, the, actually, the university still owns the copyright for the chief, so like, um, so they can't get rid of that symbolism until they move on to something new. So, okay. Okay. In so, order to keep the copyright, so other people don't make money off of it, oh, they okay. still have to use it periodically, and so wow. the the chief is still kind of here, like the the official, you know, chief and having a person walk around as the chief. Right. Um, it's not part of the university. Right, right. But the, right. the imagery of, yeah. you know, the, the chief is still, mm -hmm. is still owned by the university. I've been seeing a lot more of the eye, though. You know, yeah, just they, the plain eye the and then the, yeah, the chant. You know, the right. actual chant and they do I-L-I-I -I -I and a, yeah. that type so, of chant. So. But at the halftime show, they'll still do, like, you know, they have the whole... When the chief comes out, like, and everybody a stand, yeah. it's it's really kind of crazy because it's like you're you're at a sporting event, yeah. and the chief has been gone for how many? It's like 2007, right? Yeah, it's right. been when they officially got rid of the chief, right? But if you go to the basketball game or the football game, they still have in the halftime show when the chief is supposed to come out, and everybody stands and still does the thing as if he's still coming out, and so like it's it's really weird. Mm. Okay. <laughs> we need to end this. All right. Yeah. Period. We need to end this because it's not right. Yeah. It's disrespectful. Yeah. That do sound weird, man. You up there? The Indians. They, they, they didn't out? play yeah. basketball. They weren't playing basketball. Well, they weren't called Indians either. They they don't like that term. Uh. Okay. Native Can Americans. we Native Americans? Yeah. Native Americans? Yeah. Sorry. All right. Indigenous people. Yeah, indigenous. There we go. There you go. There you go. Now. There you go. Some people call them First Nation. First mm -hmm. Nation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah, we got a. It's a different time, man. Um, what got you know, we, everything is. Uh, you got to really be. You know. Uh, know what you're saying. You, uh, it's a lot of different terms here, so you got to be really thoughtful of your words that you put out there. Mm -hmm. So you don't offend Absolutely. nobody now. That's yeah, the scary part. But see, the thing is. A lot of people, it's like a cultural shock because a lot of people. I heard somebody talk about that Gucci thing on the radio. Yeah. Blackface. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. They all the way over there in Italy somewhere. They probably know what it means. Yeah. But it's like a cultural shock because they're not in tune with what's really going on over here. For sure. Yeah. So, for sure. Now, it, it, the blackface been going on, the Europeans been doing it for years. Mm -hmm. Right. Centuries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mocking it. And they still get played. Now it's a national, now they, now they going against it because it's no more. Cause social media is blowing it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you can't, if a person don't really understand what's going on culture, that's why I ask. Yeah. With, like, like with the chief, they don't think they probably offend the chief. Right. They probably think they in a character or something. Right. Right. But you, you, know what you saying? constantly have people that are telling you that you're doing wrong. I understand that though. Mm -hmm. And but, so like I heard one time somebody say, uh, um, "How many times do I have to say ouch?" <laughs> you know, before, I understand that, that too. before okay. you understand it, okay. you heard me. Right. Mm -hmm. But it, right. that goes back to any any lessons of life. Like I can tell you about our upbringing, a lot of things that we was taught was wrong, but a lot of people don't accept that. Mm -hmm. A lot of things we was taught, like Black History, Black History Month, we're gonna, that's the key thing, Black History Month. Mm -hmm. yeah, and the way they teach Black History is uh, completely mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. They teach in Black History that you come from a slave and you can become something. Right. right. So is that truly Black History? Did you come from a slave, or just that American Black history? This freestyle day to day, mm. man. We just so open. I'm saying, we, we, we taking this thing <laughs> so, high so slow. You got, you got to go as history, history. Yeah, okay. You so, talked about three different things. This is freestyle. Well, we talking, freestyle. freestyle. I know. I want to address the thing it's about all, the Gucci too. It's all it's all going the same play. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let so them let them tie it up. So you teaching the Black history, right? Right. Mm -hmm. 
And the first thing they teach you is that all, all our heroes were slaves. And, yeah. So it depends on what black you're talking about. So if you're talking about black in the U.S. context, you're talking about black people in the U.S. I mean, when you say the word black, you're talking about the diaspora. And so, like, but if you're talking in the U.S. context, like, black folks in the U.S., like, our history pretty much does begin with slavery. We're not attached to, like, we were taken from, um, uh, from different parts of Africa. So when, you, when, you, when the Jews teach their history, they go, they start the Holocaust? Do they start at the Holocaust? Do they? That's deep. Um, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm asking the question. Deep. Do, the, deep. do the Jews start their history at the Holocaust? Um, no. Exactly. But, so why we gotta start our, well, we're, we're, why, we, why we can't teach ours from the beginning? Are we the Jews? We are a nation. We are people. We are humans. All humans are treated supposed to be treated equally. All who supposed to think alike and, and give their history the same. I like that he said. Are we the Jews? But so, so the thing is, is that in the U.S. context, well, like, we always debate. We debate all the time. <laughs> we don't know where we come from because we were taken. Right. And so there's there's no record. And so like when it the, what makes it difficult is like you're talking about a homogenous people. You talk about the mm -hmm. Jews. So like it's like they have a shared history. Okay. Um and so like for mm -hmm. I'm sorry, for mm -hmm. um for us, like we come from Africa. Mm -hmm. And so like mm -hmm. in Africa, we come from many different places. So it's right, not like right. we can all say, Oh, we all came from Ghana or we all came mm -hmm. from Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Like there are a lot of different cultures, there are a lot of different ethnicities there, and there are a lot of different ethnicities that that we got taken from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um and so like we don't know where we came from. Also it was a lot of different it was a lot of uh people that was here already. Uh they was uh it's a it's a real good documentary. A couple of them. They came before Columbus, um uh, the 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 mound, uh, what's that false salt down there in Florida? Those those people, you know, they they were black. But they was part of. They was here already. The Indians called them the uh, uh, the the mound builders. Mm -hmm. the, well, not the Indians, but the indigenous people called them the mound builders. They said they was here before us. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's kind of mixed up here, man. So because uh, because yeah. I was I was taught at my license study mm -hmm. they they integrated the mound builders and thought turned to slavery. The one that was here. they did they did Trump but they saying? kept running away. So, A lot yeah. of them kept running away so, in Florida. So. The one that yeah. was originally here, they was when they started the slavery. They start uh, kidnapping them and forcing them to slavery. Yeah, so I'm saying so they don't teach that. Nobody don't. don't they don't teach that. about the indigenous people being killed off neither. No, they say do y'all. No, they have they Thanksgiving. Don't. Yeah, that's no, Thanksgiving. They don't. Thanksgiving. No, they, they don't. They don't teach it. They don't teach it. They don't teach it. They they don't teach it. it Cause when I was when I was coming up, they didn't teach that. They just yeah. said it's Thanksgiving, and, and they said, you know, well, it's a this was, day -day, you know, man. pilgrims and all it. of that, but they didn't include that they <laughs> slaughtered all they those people. They taught, they taught, like I said, that, 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 that history thing, they taught the way they wanted to be taught. Exactly. Right. So they've been teaching that for so long falsely. Mm -hmm. that, that go back to everything. I was saying, like, with the, with the Gucci thing, with the Chief thing, mm -hmm. they've been teaching stuff so long mm -hmm. the wrong way that the people that they taught, it's hard to change their mind. Yeah. Well, they go, they go any any right. culture, any culture aspect you look at, like you said, the chief is it's total disrespect. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. But they've been teaching it so long that it was the right way. It's hard to tell somebody something that you've been taught is wrong. Yeah. And they've been yeah, teaching, yeah. They, and their grandmother told them this story. <laughs> their great grandma told their grandma. They they passed these stories on. Mm -hmm. Well. So. It just got people got to get more culturally aware. Well, yeah, I think they teach yeah. the, the the chief thing is just out of context. I mean, because if you really get into like where the chief comes from and like you know our nation has, I mean, you just assume that universities always had um, mascots, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. And there was a point in time it was like the 1920s uh, when universities started adopting mascots mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. because there wasn't always, you know, the football teams. It wasn't always yeah, basketball. Yeah. wasn't right. always a big right. thing. Mm -hmm. So they started in the 1920s, they started adopting mascots and they had to be ferocious things, you know, like, so, mm -hmm. you know, bears, bears, tigers. Right. tigers yes, like, yes. Um, okay. So I, I didn't know that. So yeah. I'm learning. Cobras. Yeah. And yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. They didn't, they, when you start connecting to the history, so mm -hmm. like, yeah, so what else is ferocious? Savages. Yeah, right. savages, warriors, right. like, but mm -hmm. this, but mm -hmm. at that point in time, the savages were the Native Americans. Yeah, mm -hmm. right, right. But well, you know what? You know what savage really? Uh, you know what savage originally came from, don't you? You ever read the uh, destruction of black civilization? Oh well, yeah, Chancellor he, Williams. Yeah, he yeah. broke it down. Yeah. yeah, he broke it down. Why yeah. they start calling people savages? Right. Because they want to adapt to their way of life. Mm 
Right, right. Mm-hmm. But they were really savages. Mm-hmm. Africans were the savage. They had their own way of living. Yeah. Right, right. And they were living better than they was living. They didn't understand it, so they, right. they formed a name to call them savage to make them look bad. Mm-hmm. And actually, he wasn't savages. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Boy, so, I love this show, man. So, see, yeah, you gotta, only you on this see, show you get all this stuff. You got to see, see what I... Yeah, it'll we go. break it down. Yeah. We, we, I break just break down, down stuff. I, know. I don't know. I don't yes. know nothing. I just yes. break stuff when I, when I read, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And it, it sounds good to me, and I do more research on it. Mm-hmm. And it, it, but like I did more research on that, and it's the truth, because everyone they try to colonize something. If you didn't, if you didn't go to what they want to do, yeah. you would consider evil, didn't know nothing, ignorant, mm-hmm. and realize we were the smartest people in the world. We are. Still are. Yeah, my, we, my, are. My, we, we, we are. We we was. We we got a long way to go, but get it back. Yeah, we gotta get it back. I mean, we gotta get it back. <laughs> we still so doing stuff. Yeah, look at that. that well, like you said, that they call them savages. Mm-hmm. But that was their way. That was their way of means of uh, survival. They become savage until you came over here. But most of the time, I'm having a problem with the people that just don't want to. They don't want to see or accept the diversification. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Or di- diversifying their actual company. You get what I'm saying? So they only got one person mm-hmm. that's doing or looking at their overall production of a of a shirt that basically yeah. goes up over their mouth and is black. Right. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they put it out and they like, oh my, that does look kind of like weird. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. To where all you gotta do is, hey, there's some black people over there on that side. You can yeah. just possibly hire a few to diversify what's good and what's not. And that's what a lot of people need to start doing now. Yeah. Diversifying who you are inside that particular see, company. See the thing is, you right? You know what I'm saying? You're saying diversify, right? Yeah, diversify. It doesn't have to but be all, you know, time, like black people or at brown same time, people. We need to stop trying to integrate with these people that don't want to diversify and just start our own thing. That's and, fine and, and too. Teach it. Because as long but as long that's as fine keep, too, as long, but they keep, need to though. Uh, it's 2019. Why? why? It's I mean, 2019. It if it's when you're talking about Gucci, like it would uh, help them from producing those racist clothes. Exactly. So, like, if you had somebody who goes, like, I always wonder with stuff like that, like, you know, like, where's that one person that goes, hey, you probably that, shouldn't do that. Right, exactly. <laughs> That's a bad like, idea. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't have nobody yep, in the company yep, go, like, oh, but, 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 yes, kind of racist. But, 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 exactly. I like it. Yeah. Right. But when you deal with them co- <laughs> conglomerates <laughs> and them big multi billion car companies, you ain't got nothing but a bunch of yes men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But at the same time, I know you can at least get a second opinion. Like that ain't gonna but fly. You pro- they probably in the did. U.S. They it can probably, probably fly probably over did. here. Believe it ain't me. gonna fly in believe the U.S. Me. Believe me, they probably did get a second opinion. But people gonna go with they're they gonna go with their own opinion. I take for instance, right? The Cub, you, see you, you in the Cubs, man? The Cub I'm owner. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm not saying the Cub owner, uh, the Ricky. He did the racist comment, got the racist emails, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He an owner. Yes. You know what they said? Well, he don't. He don't deal the day day action of the team. That's so. That's the excuse to try to sell mm. a race. You know what I'm saying now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he doing all this, and nine out of ten, they was with it until it come into the light. Man, we got I'm politicians staying. in blackface. You know we got. It's a new day, man. It's, it's I a mean, new day. I don't think people. Let's start shopping on. I can't afford Gucci. Right. <laughs> There's right. some other. Like, you know what I mean? um, right, other I wasn't mad. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't buy it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Man. I'm Tell not spending four hundred dollars for some flip flops. I'm yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. No, There's I, a lot of I'm um, not buying Gucci brown. Belts and, I don't even buy the fake Gucci. No. <laughs> hey, but Gucci has been around for how long though? He's he's paved the way for some of the other you know people. What's the keyword they say? Look how long he's been around. He's been around for a so long you know time. He, his his they, leg, he's a legacy. They know what they're period. doing. That name is legacy. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't change with time. Look at all these uh, white supremacy groups still out here. Well, I mean, with Gucci, like, you know, they bring in, uh, they bring a lot of different designers in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, like, uh, Dapper Dan is a part of, uh, part mm-hmm. of Gucci. Mm-hmm. Um, what's yep. my man's name uh, who does the shoes? Mm-hmm. Which uh, one? He's, a, he's a big uh, Nike uh, designer. Uh, is it Ablo? Um, he does all the. He speak on my head. I don't know. I know what you're talking. About. I can't think of his name. They just gave Dapper Dan an award too, man. They just mm-hmm. got an award. Uh, what was that? What award? He just got an award. Uh, 
He did. Yeah, I just, I just saw that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so was he a part of Gucci? They did the blackface thing. Yeah, he was in something. So he might be that one voice told him don't do it. He might no, he probably that, not. That, that, that definitely can't see that. Like, exactly. You know what I'm saying? He probably heard that see man it. talk. Like, yeah. Nah, he definitely wasn't part of that. Yep. I don't think so. Yeah, really? He had a lot to do with uh, New York fashion too, man. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's cool. I'm glad. But that's he one person, yeah. like he said. That's that's one person, and mm -hmm. Gucci probably has, like you said, 15, mm -hmm. 20 different designers yeah. on their team alone. You get what I'm saying? And he just, well, Dapper Dan is just one of the brown people. You get right. what I'm saying? Because most of these designers, they dead. They gone. Right. right. You know? They need somebody else to step up and, you know, design something that's next and big. You know? It's time for Heather to step up and design some of Gucci stuff. We're going to get Heather, HJ. H HJ Design. That's the rest we're going to call. My man Twan Design, Fly by Nights. <laughs> Yes, I will nice be. Nice sweatshirt, how you wearing? I will oh, okay. be doing some stuff with him soon. Yeah, couple gotta, days, matter of fact. He got to come up here, man. Yep. So I don't know. Uh, you you think? Oh yeah, it's time. Hold on, let me read this for y'all. <laughs> Tiger okay. dudes, it is. Oh man, I'm not doing <laughs> this. Bro, you is now. I'm gonna read this disclaimer right quick. This is WRFU Urbana. WRFU is an open forum for Urbana Champagne community. Views expressed are those of the speakers and not intended to represent WRFU, UC, MC, or Urbana Social Forum. So these are our own views, not WRFUs. But uh, thank y'all for tuning in. Again, this is just freestyling. We going over, where well, we went over everything that we, that we covered in the show, what we've been covering the past six months, Thanks to Heather and Kiki, and uh, uh, Heather is just taking this thing to the next level, man. Her and, and, and Kiki right there with them, and uh, we we deciding today, you know, what we want to do for the next six months. Y'all got any ideas, input? Feel free. Right now, we was all over the place, man. We touched on uh, the program, <laughs> right. Dream, Dream House. House. We touched on uh, what you did, how what brought you here. Then we were some type of way we wound up on Gucci. <laughs> oh yeah, we started with the line nine, and what else did we cover? The line nine, that, yeah, we that went. Yeah, we talked about the line yeah. We talked about diversification, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. happiness, and black history, black history, yes. indigenous people, the mound builders. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Virgil Abloh, and he's okay. Uh, Virgil he, Abloh, he was with Louis Vuitton. He wasn't with Gucci. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Yeah, so we just we covering this man, and we really, you know, we. We really celebrating, I guess you could say, and we trying to figure out uh, how Heather could take it to the next level because Heather's gonna become the next Oprah, I believe, man. She's definitely out. Uh, Just cut me off some money. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> me and Kiki, we gonna be behind her. We gonna be, we gonna be behind her. Uh, we gonna, well, Kiki probably get a ride in a limbo. I'm gonna pump the gas though, but it's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna drive the limo. Yeah, he gonna I drive the limo. He gonna, he gonna make sure she get there on time. That's all. But uh, oh my God. appreciate my man Rob stopping me in, dropping this. Yeah, yeah, appreciate thank Rob you, stopping thank me in. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Thank yeah. you. Rob, you ever check out the show, man? Or what, what's your, what's your opinion on it? Because you know, I'm gonna tell you why we started this. Uh -huh. We started this originally to start give a voice to the community, mm -hmm. to uh, cover issues that's happening in our community, yeah. and have our own voice right. instead of other people coming in and dictating that and saying, you know, well, this was going on. Well, we'll tell you here, and we also started to uh, highlight people like you, other people that's doing positive things in the community and what's going on. Our next step, what we wanted to do is, we want to get into where there's an open forum where people can come in and we discuss these things in a face-to-face, -face, you know, format or uh, type of, what am I saying? You know, in a, in a, in a type of way that, Pouting? yeah, where mm -hmm. we could really just, uh, and then figure out a way where we could bring certain minds together. The idea is to bring positive minds together, mm -hmm. let you know it is positive people out here because on the news, you always see this negative image. Again, mm -hmm. we talk about the image. So back, we're going back to the chief thing, but yeah, but uh, image is very important, man. And having a voice, I think is extremely important. So, oh, with that said, I don't know, Kiki, what you think, man? 
where you want to take this, or what, what you think, Rob? What you think we should do more? You, you think we should continue how we going, or? Yeah, I think that that absolutely sounds positive. Okay. Um, and hey, I just want to say if uh, if you ever uh, need me to come in and, uh, and touch on the topic, or you're talking about having people sit down, have a little discussion, a little debate, like I'm always game for it. Okay. Um, and so, like, yeah, I love to uh, to uh, to engage these types of topics. I mean, that's you know that's what I do. Like my my focus in school is on race, and so like like I love to talk about these things. Cool, man. Cool. Well, man, the door is always open. We we always looking for more uh, voices, positive mm -hmm. voices to join. Because mm -hmm. you see, the next, like I say, the next stage is there's gonna be the meetings, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. they already kind of doing some here now. With yeah, them. they already doing some, but we we don't we haven't stamped it yet, but. Mm -hmm. We we can do something like it and just. But why could, why recreate the wheel? That's what you that's what you For say sure. all the time. We For just sure. we could we could blend these things together, man. Yeah. We ain't got to keep re, re, uh, recreating the wheel. Mm -hmm. We could use the wheels that's there mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then just sort of. Uh, we just need more people to get involved. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a lot of people that um that are watching, mm -hmm. you know, live and stuff like that. But we need more people to come out, support, you know, get involved, donate talk, speak, mm -hmm. you know, come together, unify, mesh, you mm -hmm. know, um, spend your money with your brother, you know, and not with somebody else, you mm -hmm. know, if one of the friends of Fly By Night, you know, has a t-shirt, go ahead and support him, you yeah. know, because uh -huh. at the same time, we need more black interaction, period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you done brought on some awesome guests, and uh, they contacted Heather back to back, and Heather's booking them. They contacted me now. Yeah, they like, coming now, they man. Need. They they love her. The, go ahead. They they uh. Okay. What they say? I can't see. You talk about abuse, um, like dating, dating. Abuse, oh, okay. Dating abuse, abuse, domestic abuse. If he hits you, get rid of him. <laughs> yeah. I just I, I just, you just yeah. summed it up, man. I, I ain't gonna lie, man. Look, we I ain't no saint, and I did a lot of crazy yeah. stuff in my life, man. I ain't no saint. Some people are young and... And you might be young and thinking... Uh oh, here come another topic. I feel it. And you might, you some might, you might be that are young old, and... Or, but you yeah. might be in love. You think it. you're in love, but now yes. then it's fatuation because yeah. one thing I learned about love, love do not hurt. No, but it can take, be one-sided. Listen, love is not... Love this, this do not love. hurt. You read, you, write, you, read, you read your Bible, you read your Quran, you read any book. But wonder if they mom and dad... You, you read any that. great book... Exactly. Then we go back to the beginning. Your mom and dad can show you something wrong. They don't mean, it ain't exactly because mm -hmm. your mom and dad teach you something that's mm -hmm. right all the time. Right. They teach you what they was taught. Why you never on the, uh... I don't need to go to the county to hear me. Good, whatever. They, they teach what they was taught. <laughs> you don't loud. Nah. <laughs> I think that's a good topic, though, man. <laughs> they, 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 know they, know teach what? they teach what they was taught. You know what? Hold so, that. That's a good topic. Yeah, don't, yeah, gonna, hold it. Gonna, we gonna dig into yeah, that listen, one. because uh, he hit you, baby girl, we, we gonna get rid of him. Yeah, we gonna do a whole show dedicated to that, man. Just <laughs> dating <blank>. abuse. <laughs> Well, what is considered abuse? Because uh, uh, mentally, wait, physically. Yeah, because you Emotionally. know what? That that'll be a good show. Because listen, because uh, when I was studying the DSM, what's that? The DSM five, and a couple other things. Uh, when I was doing my undergrad, so uh, they what's asked the question. DSM? DSM is the diagnosis, social, mental thing. They use it. A lot of people oh, the diagnosis use, book. Yeah, diagnosis yeah, yeah, book. yeah. They use it. They use it a lot of mental illness, okay. but other things, but. They and they asked the question. One of the uh, one of my instructors asked the question, talking about, "Do you recognize abuse?" I said, "Yeah, everybody know recognize abuse." But she said, "Well, what if somebody don't speak to you? Is that considered abuse?" I said, "No." You know, I'm like, "Well, they ain't speaking to me now." But <laughs> but no, stop. but according to the book, mm -hmm. once I read that. That is that is a, that's a sign of abuse because you're being ignored yeah. as a human being. Yeah, abuse come off. Abuse, abuse come yeah. off. It's a off. silent abuse. So um, we need to do. Yeah, that's a good show. When uh, a woman, if you would, if you're in a relationship with somebody mm -hmm. and they've been for a while, they know what they, they know how to get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just learned this term. This is something I just learned. Like I'm, I'm excited. I, I just learned about oh, this. Rob, for late some moments, man. Go ahead, Rob. Have you have you heard of this term called gaslighting? You ever heard of something? You ever heard of uh -uh, no. Nah. Uh -uh. Nah. It's yo. So like, if you're in a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. And so like, someone you think 
you have one reality, your relationship is going in one direction. Yeah. But the other person is constantly causing trouble. So I'm constantly causing dissension. <laughs> and so like there it's a form it's, That's it's a notice person. I know right? that it's, it's a mean, real thing. Yeah. Like you touching on something here. She's oh about to testify, man. I mean, yeah. Like, <laughs> when I heard it, I was like <laughs> it was crazy. So it's a it's a form yeah. of mental abuse. And so mm. gaslighting wow. is basically like so someone messing with you to keep you confused in the relationship. Mm -hmm. And they'll tell you stuff that, you know, like, you know, like, um, you know, oh, we thought, you know, you think that you're 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 trying to commit and make something very special. Yeah. And then they'll tell you like, Oh, I thought we were just supposed to be friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they'll tell you yeah. they'll, they'll tell you something yeah. and just send you up. You're like, yeah. wait a minute, like and so they constantly got you second guessing mm -hmm. yourself and, mm -hmm. and like confused about mm -hmm. the, the nature mm -hmm. of the relationship or what you're supposed Dang. to be doing or yes. what your goals are but they're doing it on purpose right because they're they're getting something from the relationship yep. but they're keeping you in the dark about what's going on yep. and so you think that you're doing one thing but you're not actually doing the thing that the other person is actually Ooh, working to get dang. so gaslighting is yeah. it's some mean stuff yeah. okay. I know one of these oh my gosh I know this guy all too well and <laughs> yeah, Heather, Heather gonna jump up in a minute I cannot say his name church. at all I'm is, not is going is to is she want to say his name what's his name Bob something? no name? it's Damn. common very common common name Robert no, 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 James, no, Marcus, no, no stop, right. stop. <laughs> that's good though, yeah, but it, that's true though. Gaslighting. It's called right. gas. Look it up. It's wow. Like, that's deep. It's man. crazy. Um, yeah. I think that'd be a good show we could cover, man. And um, I would like to see this show probably go more into those type of things, more into the to the psychological side of it. Um, mm -hmm. We got off into, oh uh, man, we had some good. We had some good discussions on religion and other things here too. Yeah. Uh, Brother yeah. Bay was here. Then what was the pastor name? Bishop. Bishop, Bishop. McGee. Mm -hmm. Bishop McGee was here. He was tough, boy. Yeah. yeah. Kiki loved that show, man. That was that was a deep show. That man. he got in deep because it was. Uh, we had um. Who else? We had Adair Thomas come in. Petey. Uh, yep. Who else was with him? Um. Somebody else was with him. I know. I know. I can't think of his name. Dang. See, this is what happened. Yeah, that's when we had two people. Um, who else came on here? Uh, Darian. What's his name? Herman. Yes. Yeah. Go Mad okay. Program. Um, yep. participant. Uh, oh yeah, Darian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Marlon came here. And yeah. Marlon came here and told about the program. We oh, that get was his back friend. On. What was your friend name that uh, came uh, on uh, here? Uh, uh, um. Cause he came on twice, matter of fact. Damon, my man Damon. Damon. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. was on here too. Yeah. Um. So we've we've had radio, a lot man. of people right, right. on. I'm on the radio. And we've been going strong, you know. Right, right, right. Um. I'm trying to see now, man. I'm like, on the radio. What, what do you think of the future of this show? What do you want to see? I don't do my know. Radio show. I mean, I would like to see more people, you know, um, uh, start living up their to their dreams, you know. Because um, exactly. we could do a lot I'm of motivation, radio, my radio but show. people ain't doing what they supposed to do. You know, right. um, I was just thinking about it today. Tell like Facebook minute. has tell really God, pushed God, us say, to be more you. marketers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Period. Okay. It's almost like a live or a yeah, like a live news gazette or okay. a live you know yeah. type of newspaper. It's everybody's on the front page. Yeah. Who's coming to check out your news? Right. Right. About who you are, but right. it's all in how you market yourself. Yep. Now, that's I how like, you, some people like the likes and want the likes, but you know, yeah. it's we're getting to the point where we are being pushed into this marketing type of world. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do with that? Right. You know, right. because I was trying to figure out, like, okay, mm -hmm. I have this show, I need to market it more, mm -hmm. you know, so how am I going to market more? Right. Being consistent. Mm -hmm. Just like the newspaper. You're doing a good job. You, know? you got us a YouTube page, Facebook Live, yeah, yes, Instagram, yes, yes. so you're working good. This, no. this lady, this lady put in work beyond work, man. Yeah, you're doing, she, good. you're doing a great job. You know, so. when, she, when we first met her, she came in and she had the concept and idea. We Like I said, we started meeting just to try to come up with something, like what moves can we make? Mm -hmm. and, uh, what do we want to do? Mm -hmm. The whole... The whole goal is to bring a community together yep. and create this stronger community. Yep. My dream, I would like to see a black Wall Street. I'll right. tell you right now. 
That's what I'm pushing for, man. So I'm like the first Black Wall Street. Huh? <laughs> right. You sure they did the first Black Wall Street? All right, man. They just got the bombers <laughs> out again, <laughs> man. I ain't worried about it's it. It's true. We got to find a way hey, to take them back do it again. Hey, but okay. this time, this time, man, I'm going to build me a bomb in my cellar. So, but, uh. I'll be ready for it. But, I mean, uh, well, with the Black like Wall it. Street, it was only on, was it just one particular area? Well, that was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but they were, the, it, it was it's community, wasn't it? Yeah, and how they functioned, the, the dollar bounced there at least 22 times. Right now, the dollar in our community only, only make it that six hours, it might bounce once. And then we got to, we, we need to do really a whole show on that, like what is a bounce? What could, what is considered to be? How do you bounce your dollar? Well, number one, you go straight to Walmart. Your dollar ain't bounce at all. Well, I mean, buying Gucci clothes too, man. I mean, none of <laughs> us should be buying Gucci. no Gucci. I'm sorry, man. I tell you, I don't even buy, the, I don't even buy the knock on Gucci, so I don't. None of us should be buying no Gucci. I'm just, I'm, I'm just not trying to. That only time somebody, well, I ain't gonna go into all that, but. I'm just saying, man, we ain't got no time to be buying that stuff, wasting no money like we that. We can talk but, uh, about that, too. We can yeah. we can try to figure that stuff out, you know? Yeah. So, yes, yes. But, uh, yeah, Rob, man, any time, man, you yes. feel free. Right. You, I, the door's I, I open. You got, you got a seat. Yes. <laughs> All right. You yes. got a seat because, yeah, like, you know. Like but, you know, mm -hmm. I just said, God don't make no mistakes. Because you, you walked past the first time, mm -hmm. I, you waved to me right. and everything. He waved at me. No, the first time he didn't I even see you. I didn't oh. see you. Yeah, and then when he came back, mm -hmm. you know, it was just like you were supposed to be in here. Yeah, <laughs> right. Man, Period. make it home, man. If you got a topic, bring it, man. Come yeah. on with it. We're not, we're not shying away from nothing, man. I mean, anything nope. here. Um, no topic left out. Oh, man, whatever we you want to bring. We didn't talk about so much with you. You want to bring <laughs> it. Yeah, you already like a walk hey. encyclopedia, man. So. Yes. I'm going to come here and have y'all talk about relationships all the time. Hey, hey man, come hey. on, break it down. Yes. Bring, what you call that again? Lighter? Gaslighter. Gas lighter. Gas lighter. I'm going to remember that. Now, I see. You ask yeah. me. I'm going to remember yeah. that. Gas yep. <laughs> I'm guilty of that, too. You too. Be, be careful. Because uh, it's, it's a narcissist who, who gaslights people. Oh, oh man. Dang. I was called I guess a narcissist man, before. Yeah. Were you? I, th I was called dang, dang everything. I'm narcissist, a womanizer. <laughs> <laughs> but now I ain't like that no more. My, my old They son. probably didn't even know what it mean, man. They yeah. probably just heard a word and then uh, did it. Because uh, right. uh, uh, you oh, can't man. change it. If you're a narcissist, man, you still would be right now. Yeah, you I'm can't saying, change. That's no, the one person that It was an old head, man. He was mad. It was back in, what, 94, 95. Old oh, hell, man! I, I bumped his, old, I bumped his bride when he was in the game. I bumped his bride. Okay. No, no disrespect to women. I'm just speaking slang. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he told, he said he, he ain't nothing but a womanizer. Mm. And she told me everything. I'm like, what? I didn't know what it was. So she no, told, I, I see it womanizer, up. but a narcissist, man. Like, a nar <laughs> like it's six, it's six mental behaviors that you can't change. And, no matter, they like a narcissist he, he could never change. see. No, no, because he can't never. He can't, he can't, he can't correct truth. himself. But it's true. Yeah, he don't know how to correct. It's himself. his way at all times. That's right. Yeah. And right. nobody else would. What is it? Yeah, don't what. So I don't hurt. Like, yeah, him, 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 or she. Yeah. So I look, y'all, we on another subject again. But look, <laughs> and like, like our president, who's uh, he's the what they call that a black? Is that a dark narcissist or it's a it's a word? Dang. He's at the highest level. Are you serious? Yeah, man. He's they already diagnosed narcissist. him. Yeah, yeah. Super yeah. Saiyan wow. narcissist. Yeah, they already <laughs> said he man, could. Everything he, never, he could never correct Everything he could damn Obama for. He doing it. He told Obama. Remember when Obama talked to Putin? Uh oh, Putin? y'all, we got another subject. I'm saying, <laughs> right I'm right politics. You brought up. No, you can. Remember, do do y'all remember Obama, Obama trying to talk to Putin? Uh -oh. Yeah. And uh, Trump was on news talking about he shouldn't be talking to that man. Everything. Yeah. Then Obama wanted to talk to the boy in South Korea, North Korea, Kim. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah. Who's on front lines? They shouldn't do it. Yeah, he's wasting his time. Yeah, who's yeah. on front line? Nah, Every, nah, everything, nah, everything he could then Obama for. He doing it and make it so bad. He getting these people leeway. Mm -hmm. He had his own. He had his own man on yeah. his own staff. He what was doing on the news other day? Yeah. Uh, I don't know the one, name. one guy on the staff. What, one guy he fired. Somebody always yeah, on the. <laughs> not not calm. Not, not calm. Not calm. It was one of his yeah. good friends. Okay. Just wrote a book, and he said he not not, not matter of fact he's FBI director, and he said was that Comey? Well, one of the I guy over Comey. Remember Comey got fired, mm -hmm. but that guy said, he said, man, I truly believe that Trump is a Russian spy. Whoa. <laughs> That's deep, man. Whoa, to talk about our president like yeah. that. That's because yeah. he is our president. You know, it's like, that's well, our president. Yeah. I mean, man, if you look you know at You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. deep, man. Here go, here go another topic. If you look at history, uh, 
Nazi Germany followed the same path, and usually, uh, once a once a republic or a, de a, de a democratic society, the next step is um, the next form is will be fascism. So this is sort of like a process in motion, and we headed down that road real fast, man. So all y'all can tell y'all, man, this get this, ready, get ready. This, <laughs> get this, ready. This is part of the process. It is. Um, that's that's it's the same way how when they took over and we and we seeing something else because uh we had a real tricky time here uh at the same time germany was in power they had a strong dollar and then they dollar started losing value mm -hmm. we we in a very similar position yeah the only reason our dollar hold value is because they trade oil in it but if other countries like the brick brazil russia china India, South Africa, and they start trading and these in their own currency, then we lose that. We're not tied to nothing else. So we go another subject, y'all. But we Message. we just we 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 in a very peculiar um, transitioning mm -hmm. place right now. So I and I, I tell you right now, man, everybody keep talking about revolution and all that stuff. Man, them people, y'all ain't ready for that. Y'all ain't ready for that. Y'all don't want that. Y'all too busy. Y'all like y'all like buying Gucci. Y'all like buying the new A ones and Jordans. You know they listen. Y'all like you all know, that. You know they do. How you gonna put a three month boycott on anything? Yeah. Hush. Y'all like that. Y'all like new so cell phones. Who was it? Uh, McDonald's. What? what did he say about McDonald's last week? Martell. How much money we spend in McDonald's? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we 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 like that, man. See, disgusting. we enjoy this right now. Now, I'm gonna tell you, if a fall happened, look at Venezuela's what happened down there. They dollar collapse. They 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 taking boatloads of money just to go buy some sugar and bread. People are eating one time a day. This is happening right now in Venezuela and other countries. And you wanna y'all wanna look up some look up uh, confessions of a uh, economic hitman. Look that up on YouTube. Read that. That's going to tell you how they go down there and uh, they target these countries to take out their dollar. Mm -hmm. Then they then they target the resources and they turn that country basically into either a sane asylum or it's going to be uh, just like them other countries where you got like 40% of the people on crack and things like that down there of the below the border. That's what we good at. So this is how the U.S. stay in power. By, oh, by, by, by stopping other powers from coming. Yeah. But yeah. we at this tipping stage now. So what, I don't know, man. And then at the same you time, know. like, we went, um, we went to uh, Mexico. Yeah. You go down there. You got one dollar, U.S. Yeah. You rich. You rich. Because yeah, so. our dollar down there is like 30-something dollars you know what I'm saying to them. Like but, so but I said, what there? the heck? See, you got, yes, that's why you say you got, like that's that. why you got to check you know? out. Another, another one good Confessions of an economic hitman. You need to check that out another, and you don't understand. Another right good right. one to check out. Uh, the fall of, uh, in 2006, the uh, Wall Street crash. What that, was that? Uh, uh, that big bank, what was it? Bad Bro? What that name? That big bank? Uh, Enron. Em no, no, not Enron. 2006. But, uh, um, the big, them big banks crash. Yeah. 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 Check out that documentary. Yeah, man. Cause, uh, yeah. Uh, that lady, I think it was Jenna Yellen or somebody. Well, we buying she back our bonds. That at we we buying back our bonds. We doing quantum economic easing to order to keep this fake ceiling up right now. So mm. they go another topic, y'all. But 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 we in the middle of this, man. So uh, I don't know, man. Can we get out of it? Is there a way? Because you know we had that yeah, crash in twenty it's twenty uh twenty eight. It's a way. Two thousand eight. You gonna crash? They're gonna you gonna crash? No, the eight. You gonna crash, right? and they're gonna have to bring in a new currency six. system. That's what they got to introduce a new currency. But what system. happened? At this one is going to be wiped out. Obama tried to bring it back though. You know, that's what happened, man. Really, the collapse happened. Two thousand eight. Mm -hmm. This is a fake. You and a fake. Uh, and uh, our our crazy. Well, our president. I ain't gonna say. But he said this is a fake economy. This is a false economy. It's held up with a pole. You know. This, that's where you at right now, but uh, oh, it just propped up. It's propped up, man. Yeah. It could it could collapse any moment. It's uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's any time they ready to go. And, and like I said, y'all ain't ready for that. 
People ain't ready for the uh for a revolution, man. You ain't ready for no revolution. You don't want that, man. Because that's, you that's want that. we going back, and yeah. so what happened is you, the in, be, industrial be, reg, uh-huh. revolution, right? Mm-hmm. Can we, we go about, back? Well, the industrial revolution was with all the machinery and everything, right? And the factories that before came that in. was it a war? No, it was. Or yeah, it after was. that, was yeah, it actually, Which World one? War One kind of kicked off a lot of that stuff. Okay, and, okay, uh, two. And that kind of drove that whole machine. So do we always seem to follow that path? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, do. You know, yeah. so we yeah. we might be. And actually, the industrial revolution was an eyeball because you had so many people from a lower class mm-hmm. now able to gain that much wealth, yeah, which yeah. is not normal. That's mm-hmm. not normal to have that. Mm-hmm. Those type of periods only come every so often. Right. Now right. you're going to see this gap. Now you're going to a period now where the, the rich is going to get richer and the poor oh, yeah. is going to get poor. Oh, yeah. Because you that the, cross that gap, that's not normal. That's not something that happens all the time. Mm-hmm. That's only happens when they need manpower. Mm-hmm. They don't need you now, man. They got machines that can do everything. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. So check out Al's Look, go so to Walmart. Are they making- go to Walmart right now. Here's another subject. Go to Walmart right now, man, and uh, right there, over here in the banner, they got the big machine up there. When you come in and type in your order uh, and pick it up, Walmart got order pullers, robot order pullers that's coming. You know, uh, McDonald's got one guy, work, one or two people working the thing, and they, they changing their model. They don't need you. Mm-hmm. So what's so going to happen? So we need to start making yeah, our own business? Already. They hear already. Yeah. Yeah. We already here. So, yeah. yeah already you guys just walk yeah. in and they got the test screens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Saying, no. You already got them. But the yeah. thing is, though. You're here. They, we they, here. They, they don't all live, though. Yeah. That, that's another thing so funny yeah. about this. You know, minimum wage is going up by 2020 or 25, going to be 59. But what that's going to do now, that's going to. That's going to. going up. But that's. And that's that, still ain't gonna be no that ain't going to be no still money. still ain't going to be no money. Right. Right. Ain't going up. And that's. So, what that's you going to do with the middle class? But that's going to force more businesses to hire less people. Mm-hmm. To a degree, and now and now a lot of people when I, when I when I make this argument, the first thing they be like, nah, nah, they got now see those those jobs like McDonald's and stuff. Those are like starter jobs that kids yeah, get. For sure. Now you got people in their forties and fifties trying to get those jobs. Trying to mm-hmm. get it. You know, get more, they getting that get job and they get stay get in there right. for twenty to. years. So all these subjects, man, we gonna touch on. Right. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't gonna get so I'm, I'm glad right we're talking there, about man. this. So yeah. with uh-huh. this age, do we need more small businesses to start oh, doing the, that uh, thing, the, the, or um, what was not that? bridging uh, the gap? Because there's a lot more millionaires that are younger now too. Yeah. You USA know Today saying? and a couple other yeah, papers already said, already stated that the the next 10, 20 years, fifty percent of the workforce will be. Um, they, they will be contracted out. Mm-hmm. You're going to be contracted out. So you're pretty much going to be running your own thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's where this thing is going. Okay. They okay. don't need you. And companies are getting out of the game of, you know, you're going to get retirement and all that. Like my father, he retired from his job. You know, nobody's doing they gonna that, that's, that day is coming to the end. You're not going to retire from these jobs, man. They're not going to have no retirement package, all that. So, uh. You I can gotta, see that now. <laughs> yeah, you got to learn how to. You got to learn what to do. You gonna have to learn a lot. Yeah, so learn how to budget. Dang. This we need to touch on Not all these budget, things. Not just budget, but you gotta show. you gotta have that IRA mm-hmm. if you don't have that four hundred one k. You know. Mm-hmm. That's what you need to do. You need to get some. We need to get some financial four hundred three d. Okay. So they could just talk about this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we could really go and start having us plan. Okay. But like I said, how to start your own business. That's what. We're, just said so, it. We I, we said it just the other man, day. <laughs> yes. Like, again, we not ready for no revolution. We like to. man. We like going to Walmart and getting cookies, mm-hmm. and uh, and getting potato chips. If a revolution, if that thing come down like what happened down there in Venezuela, you can't go there getting no more cookies, man. And you, some people don't, don't even know how to, to no make tissue. these things or or no. grow their <laughs> own food. Yeah, you can't even grow your own food. Think about they don't it, even man. Know how a collapse, to grow. If a collapse come like that. We'd be weary so lost, man. We wouldn't know what to do. But well, no. see, you got to realize, though, there's a man talked about this many, many years ago. Mm-hmm. I don't know Elijah Muhammad. He been said that. Well. Well, we just need to come together, yeah. you know, I mean, and, and go back to certain basic things where, hey, if you are a farmer, go ahead and farm well, those crops I'm going to tie bit. everything up that we talked about today. <laughs> 
Watch this. You're supposed to say I'm the gonna, disclaimer I'm gonna tie too. It up too. I'm going I'm to sweep the disclaimer. I'm going to tie it up. The, the disclaimer again, this yes. is WRFU, LP Urbana. Uh, it's an open forum. <laughs> Uh, open forum or banner banner champagne community views expressed are those of the speakers and not of the attendant to represent WRFU UCMC or a banner socialist forum. Okay, I'm gonna tie all this up. Watch this. It said tie this up. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to start respecting each other. Mm -hmm. We can't go there and and go just like how you was talking about with the chief. We can't disrespect that group and this group. We're gonna have to learn how to work together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where all this really comes down to. Mm -hmm. If we don't learn how to work together, and this thing do come down to some type of revolution mm -hmm. or something like that, what, every, what they pushing for, what these people are practicing right now, like they doing army drills and, you know, these, I, I'm talking mm -hmm. about these, uh, these uh, uh, them, them KKK members of them, mm -hmm. they think like soldiers. Yeah. Malicious. You know, yeah, man. They they out there practicing like as if they was uh getting paid for this. Uh, ain't none of us doing that, man. <laughs> you ain't ready for I went this. to the range the other day. Don't oh, don't heaven me. is y'all. <laughs> I keep again. We got militant mama here, man. Yeah, militant mama. Militant I can mama. farm too. <laughs> Try it if you want so, to. So, yeah, Rob, that's. Hey man, we would love to have you in on the show, man, because you you got a lot of input, and we look for that. We look for more input. Me and Kiki, when we get on the show, we start getting more into spirituality. We get deep off into that because we we love that stuff. But uh, you know, we need we need all angles. We need yeah. all angles. So yeah, and yeah. I think I think I like to see the show become more rounded too, in those type of subjects. So that'd be great, man, if you yes. could come in. Yes. And uh, just be a part of that. If you got time, man, if you like me, good luck. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Good luck, man, because uh, I don't have time for myself. Yeah. Man. Right. Stop. I think I seen. I think I. I think I seen myself one time past myself, man. I said, "Where you going?" He said, "None of your business." Oh my but, goodness. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that those these are the type of topics I think we need to bring more of. I tell you what else we need to bring more here, man. You know, just going back a little bit back on since we cover everything, just just freestyle, y'all. So don't hold us to them and say, "Hey, they all over the place." We already know that today. Trust me. When when we bring in somebody specific and a topic specific, then we'll just hang with that. Right now, we kind of just touching on things, and uh, I would like to see more, just like the pastor at Dublin, uh, Courtney. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He doing that thing. I would like to see him in more on some things because he he got a lot of good input. Okay, okay. Yep. There's another pastor that will be coming up mm, soon. I forgot she, it's a lady. Okay. Uh, I think a first lady. Yeah. And she'll be coming soon, and uh, that's restoration. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we need to do a topic on black churches. Are they are they helpful? Are they mm, helpful? That's another Ooh. one. Dang! Wow, Ooh. you we are on it tonight. You what you you don't want to say nothing? Nope. Go ahead. I got accused last time of that. I think it was Martel said it's like fifty three. I, I was saying forty. It's like fifty three. I got a lot of negative feedback. My, my. But you do got some pain. Hey, you got like you entitled your own, your you own got, opinion. But you do got you do got uh well that need to be a topic, man. I ain't gonna go into it. Mm -hmm. That need to be a topic. I think a good topic would be um what else, man? Uh, uh Rob, what did you what did you say again? You said that that program now what you was doing what again? Because you mentioned something. It's something hip hop and something. Right? Yeah. We need to do more. Hip-hop and race. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to do something on that. We we need to come in and dedicate uh, probably a week on that, man. Not, not a week, but uh, maybe Hip-hop has more. been, how long has it been around? 40 years? Well, we coming Longer up, than that? We're coming up on the 20th anniversary uh -huh. of Kanye West's uh, um, uh, college dropout. Wait, that was 20, 20 years ago? 20 years ago. Wow, yeah, hip hop's been around for a very long I mean, time. Hip hop started in uh, what early 70s, yeah, 79. Was it 79? Oh my gosh, see, man, and then now here go another topic. Last poet, and it has been paving the, the way. Last, last poets, man, you don't know about the last poet. no, yeah. I don't. I'm sorry, mm -mm. Max Sheep. 
You know my favorite one Disney is. Planets. You know my favorite <laughs> one is. In words ain't the then words are scared of revolution, man. <laughs> That's my favorite last poets, man. Man, but some yeah. of that stuff is coming to you know light. You know mm -hmm. the stuff that they were rapping about in the past. Yeah. You know, nineteen uh, seventies. Yeah. Nineteen mm seventies. -hmm. Yeah. Wow, that's a long time, and it's Dang. been really like changing the culture. Yeah. Of America. Oh, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And Some of it started people, died for a minute, man, but I, I don't think it ever died. It just went underground, like that mainstream stuff. Oh, yeah, changed. Yeah, I ain't a too hip on this uh, are, mumble stuff. Are really yeah, loving yeah. hip hop, other yeah, than yeah. us? I you know, but where we be without hip hop, like without like the use of samples, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. like hip hop uh, brings us back to music that you know that we haven't listened to in a while. Oh yeah, oh um, yeah. If you're oh, really yeah. into hip hop, you go back and you listen to some of the stuff that they use the samples yeah. for. Mm -hmm. Like, um, yeah, hip hop is it's such a, a dynamic art form, um, and if used for good. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. it does have some some bad uses mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But it should it, it, it insinuates the power of having your own voice. Absolutely. That's why when uh, doing shows like this, it's important, man, to get out there and have your own voice. Mm -hmm. You gotta do it, man. You I know, love hip hop, and I'm I'm loving that um, it's been around the world. Probably it probably been around the world plenty of times now. Yeah, you know, and oh, a man, lot I of people heard, are trying to adapt. I heard to French it. rap, man. Um, <laughs> oh, Brazilian. Yeah, Brazilian yeah. rap. Uh, man, man. And I mean, that was ours. Talking about, well, when yeah. you talk about when you talk about hip hop, you also got to talk about like the culture. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so mm -hmm. it's like it's mm -hmm. not just the music, yeah. Uh, but it's you know MC and DJing, uh, mm -hmm. the artwork, mm -hmm. uh, the fashion. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah. Like, oh, we've yeah. been talking about the Gucci and the Prada and all that type of stuff. That's hip hop. Like, yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, it's, you know, Gucci isn't what it is without you know hip hop. Like exactly. You know, folks buying the Gucci belts and flip flops. They right? even got their own name is Gucci. Right. But they don't want Gucci name. Yeah. <laughs> Gucci gang, Gucci yes. gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Oh, Gucci yes. Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Oh, yes. There's so much garbage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Louis Vuitton that's bags. Like, you know, that's... No, I ain't, ain't going to talk about the man. I Louis heard the Vuitton most bags. Uh, uh, What's the most crazy song you heard on hip-hop so far? The crazy craziest song? song? Yeah, like this. I know, busy, busy, that busy, Panda busy. Panda was like... That's, number, that's, number, that's probably God number one. Lee. Panda, Panda, Panda. Some little, like, yeah, I don't that's know. Probably, that's probably number one. You heard the new one? Uh, uh, I like Panda. I like Panda too, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was just being quiet. Yeah. I, like I don't like it. Man, Panda was so garbage. Did um, I mess my screen did, up? I think I did. Yeah. I did. That, yeah, you gotta mm -hmm. go back. Please. What you gotta do? I don't know. Okay. Oh, there you go. Then you got the one that's on radio now that's playing a lot. I look like Bay. Y'all heard that song? Yes, I have. Like, what but I, like I don't even. Come on, 105.5. I know what you're talking about, that, but you I don't even. Then another one, uh, the Tatiana. Oh, my oh, God. Tatiana. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's horrible. We, come on, Tatiana. Yeah. That's not hip-hop. That's not hip-hop, though. Where Cardi B in there? Do you consider that hip-hop? No, I think. I don't know. I think that the uh, Cardi B in there. Do you consider that hip-hop? No, I think that... Uh, See, I have a buddy who we have this debate all the time, mm -hmm. uh, the difference between mm -hmm. rap and hip hop. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. think it's a clear yeah. distinction. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because hip hop is part of the culture. Hip hop has a message. Hip hop is art. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, where, you know, rap music is, um, you know, I think it's like the commercial yeah. argument. You know, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's something to be on the radio. It's somebody trying to make some money. It's somebody. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's culture vultures. It's trying to. Culture vultures, yeah. Yeah, culture they take this stuff from the art. Um, in order to, to monetize it. Dang, mm -hmm. Dash break that down real good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think it's just... But we're not saying all rappers do that. No, no, right. no, we're not, no. We ain't saying that, but... Yeah, yeah. Majority I just want to of, clear like, it up. Like, like, me, the majority of new school rappers do. Mm -hmm. I love Scarface. Is, oh, it, is, is Scarface a new greatest. school rapper? No, but I just had to put it out there. Right. You, <laughs> you know, to, man, I love just Scarface. Just have to say you that. feel me? You know, and Master P changed the game for real, for real. militant mama for real here, man. Gosh. I just got that. to a debate about that. that masterpiece. So, like, we were debating classic albums. Okay. So, Another Master topic, P, Ice Cream Man. <laughs> is that a uh -huh. classic album? Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's a classic? It's yeah. a classic. I mean, you got to, how do you my, define a classic? My Gatta I mean, Rose. Because he had, a, you know he my, had so many, you got to probably, if it's a classic, it's you, like you listening to more than one of you those. You listen to the whole tracks. album. You got to listen to the whole album. Yeah, though. yeah. Like, so yeah. did you th you feel like the whole album, I mean, it's a significant album, but is it good enough that the whole album is, like, 
But yeah, he has this, this, this is a flawless. This, to, this is a good debate, man. We're we gonna say that for hip hop day. Yeah, exactly. Because that. that's, that's, that's gonna be our topic. I gotta again. listen to it again. That's a good one. Because he he dropped out so many of them, and then he had so many yeah. artists. Everything was so back to back. He just killed it for the like. Yeah. He killed it for a long time. See, that's that, that what, that what he made. That what yeah, I X. And he yeah. he kind of. Mercedes, alright, sorry. The thing about my, <laughs> we don't have to do a hip hop show. The thing about Master P, Master P taught a lot of people how to get their money, but at the same time, Master P got uh, got a lot of these dudes out here uh, spitting that garbage too. <laughs> well, see, exactly. So that was my point. Because once upon a time, we was talking about Master P, like we're talking about the Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang now. Like, we were like, yeah, what is Master P doing? Like, you know, they, they're producing an album a week. Everybody and their yeah. mama had an album. Everybody had the body body on it, mm -hmm. and it was like, yeah, it was it was. It we looked at, at that point in time. We looked at it as like the junk food of rap, mm -hmm. like that's you know deep. what I'm saying. Like that's yeah, like that's the stuff we hear on the radio. Yeah, yeah. But no now hits. we're talking about is that a classic album? Say that. Okay. Say that for the show. <laughs> I got you. This gonna yeah, be maybe it was his work ethic. No, his work ethic. Say that for the hip hop show. Like Mama Mia, she she had a couple of hits on it one night. Right. They they were more they like. He should have came out as a group. When they was a group, they all rapping together. Mm -hmm. And when they had their hits, when they got to go that solo, it's like. Well, he had to do that. That's how he made his fortune. Yep, yep. He had yeah, to do that. He was I'm going to tell y'all this, man. I'm going to tell y'all this. He's a he, genius, he, man. He, got, he actually got the move. And he still make a move. He actually got the move. And I, I, uh, I argue this. I'm about it too coming out. But he actually the got the move. The, the movie. I'm Remember, sorry. Remember, uh, Queen Latifah Flavor Unit did the same thing earlier. They did the same thing. He just. He did the same format. Put a group of artists together, come out together then, and spun. Mm -hmm. Flavor Unit did the same thing, man, when they dropped. Queen Latifah, that's how she got on the scene. Got a bunch of them came together. Mm -hmm. Apache, what, Apache part of Flavor Unit? All that stuff, yep, all that. Mm -hmm. Then I, it was the same move. It was the exact same business move, man. And uh, he even said, you know, when he was talking about it on one of them interviews. But uh, oh, okay. that's a, you know, we're going to say that for okay, a whole Okay, okay, what else we going to go into? We got, we got, a we got minutes 10 minutes. minutes. Come on. So what, what, you, what you want to see, Kiki? What you want to see from the show? I'll say what I want to see. What you want to see from the show? Go ahead. I just want to see more more positive input of talking about the positive things and teaching the right teaching things the right way mm -hmm. and stop going off, off the things that we think we know mm -hmm. and start going things that we know we know, like knowing your own history. Mm. And start like 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 y'all said earlier. Start let other people tell your history, tell our history, mm -hmm. and we go on research and tell our own history where we come from. So you want to see more of that type of content? Yeah. How think, would that look though? What, I think what I think like? I think if you if you like everything, start like like take a rich kid. Mm. They they coming up. They know they rich, mm -hmm. so they know they know they where their future gonna go already. Mm -hmm. So I think if you could start, we start enlightening these young brothers about where they can go instead of where they at right there, and let them know where they really come from. And okay. If they really use their brain and exactly what they can do, it'd be a great step. So you want to see more consciousness, conscious stuff. Okay. You want to see more conscious material. Yeah. Okay. I could go for that. Yeah, I like that, man. Um, social conscious. Yeah. Okay. No, you so culture conscious. Culture conscious. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What's socialism? Can you clear that up for me? Sorry. Uh, Rob, you want to take it, man? <laughs> Real quick, because it was just something that I read on um, that yeah. some of the like the president or some senates or yeah. somebody in the they trying to let's push read, more first, socialism. First, let's read the official definition of socialism. Okay. And anybody can Google that for me right quick. And let's read, then we're going to break it down to the street version. <laughs> socialism. Yeah, there you go. See, everybody got Here's everybody the definition of now socialism. Listen, now listen to the definition. A political and economic theory of social organization which advocates that the means of production, distribution, and exchange should be owned or regulated by the community as a whole. Okay. So what basically, basically what that is, it's under a socialist system. You really wouldn't, like right now we're under, let me see if I can break this down better, man. Because my sister always complained about me doing this. Time. You need, you're not doing a good job. Okay, we are a capitalist, right? We're a okay. capitalist system. So there's, every everything is about, pretty much about cash in a capitalist system. Okay. Under a socialist system, just like with the healthcare, like they talking about uh, introducing uh, national healthcare. That would be a socialist system because- okay. 
the doctors now can't really capitalize on their trade like that. They they got a cap. Okay. They won't be able I to do you. that under a socialist system. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. yeah. So okay. and actually actually there's no there's there's a little bit of both in all societies, but more or more or less of one or more in the other. So we would have to you know, it's no, it's, it's no way you can have an all capitalist society because everybody would have to be producers. Like right now, and, and I said we at a real tipping point right now because China is about to be the next superpower. We're going to lose that status. We would have to become 100% efficient in order to compete with China. It's not enough people over here. It's only, what, 350 million Americans, right? Somewhere around there? It's billions of Chinese. So all they just got to do is uh, half of them compete at 100% level uh-huh. and they did not perform us. Oh, wow. Okay, so, I got you. And, th- and this is what uh, Ben Carson, he made that argument. He talking about oh, we're going to have wow. to gear up and get our people ready for this because we're not producing. Uh, we're, and you're going to have to become 100% efficient. And what does that look like? Now, the most efficient company, country it ever was was Nazi Germany. You know, they broke that cut co- when they What's broke your, that down. Your breakdown of socialism, or but Nazi Germany, <laughs> Nazi Germany was efficient because when they started taking people away, getting rid of people, uh-huh. now they opened up jobs and other things. I mean, <laughs> it was bad. What say? Yeah, it was bad, but it was good. But so I talking yeah. crazy. Hey man, oh, uh, we've been so going to another your- recession. Yeah, we got it. We got another recession, man. Ain't this how we going to another recession? I agree. Okay, man, I agree. This is uh, you on a you on a cusp of it. So, yeah, man, we we at a real tipping point here. We we are not going to be the next superpower. You know, the next mm-hmm. superpower is going to be China. We're about to lose that status, and we not that efficient. Nobody you know? sitting all these legal drugs in from China. But and, and here, here's here's another show for us. We need to do. What? Why they legalizing all this marijuana? And then they got a patent on the marijuana they legalized. You know it's a patent on all that stuff, right? But we already know what that means. Yeah, we know, but we need to talk That's about like it. That's like how stuff. alcohol was back in the day. That's right. They Everybody was bootlegging, mm-hmm. but they like, we need some of that money. You know? Yeah, Let's get they, some of that why money. Why they want you high? Why they, why they allow you to be high and inebriated and, and sleep? You know, uh, and I ain't saying all marijuana people are like that, because I know some people that, that do a lot of marijuana and they're highly productive. But as far as the kids go, your kids taking this in, now that's stopping the development mentally of the brain. You know, the they brain already stopping it with the, uh, with the YouTube and Momo yeah. on the YouTube now. Yeah, that needs to be another show. Momo. That's, yeah, Momo's a whole A doll. Show. Yeah. That's telling people to so, whack off their parents and stuff. It's all type of stuff we just talk about. Doing what? Well, that's another show, man. <laughs> no, no I was trying to get him to say, talk about socialism. Real quick. Oh, go ahead. You talk about socialism. Go ahead, Rob. Or Kiki? No. Nah. Nah. You're not going to say socialism? <laughs> you know how I... Go ahead, Rob. <laughs> break, break, it, Rob break, you break, break it down, man. Break it down. Um, I mean, so my understanding of socialism is, uh, is like we live in a capitalist society, but mm-hmm. at the same time, uh, like you just said, like uh, we have a little bit of socialism mixed in with the capitalism. Mm-hmm. And so you have so many people in our society talk about moving into a, a capitalist society, turning things over to the free market, um, trying to move into a more capitalist society. But the things that uh, that keep us together is social is social ownership. Right, right. And mm-hmm. so like our public schools, like, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a socialist institution. Yeah. Um, our ideas about having some type of universal health care. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, that's 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 socialism, yeah. right. um, and those things are really important, and those things are really necessary. Right. Uh, but uh, and you see, like you know, when you turn everything over to the free market, the free market don't care about you. No, no. Um, and so uh, it, it's it's cutthroat and it's brutal. And so, but when Ben Carson made that statement, talking about we're gonna have to get our people at least eighty percent efficient or better. That scared me, man. When he look, made that statement, that I think a lot of people didn't pay attention to that. And I'm like, well, what do you mean by that, man? Because you're going to have to become a producer now. That's what I'm going to say, though. My opinion, I'm not going to touch on socialism, but I think socialism will work. Lord, you got a dictator running it. But how else you going to run it? But I that would be cap, I mean, uh, communism. It's got to be communism. So that's right. an extreme of socialism, right. where everything is turned over to the state. 
Um, and you have one person who basically oversees. No, I say don't no, don't have no dictator running it. Right. So mm-hmm. socialism doesn't go as far as a dictator. Yeah. But think about it. It, it should, but a lot of people that try to do it be dictators. Well, this is it, man. We got one minute. And we got one minute left. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. like Gaddafi yeah. now, yeah. like Gaddafi yeah. for them now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And in that morning, what? Well, I think if you can have somebody. That now can he be, had a really efficient state too. He, he was like 85 percent efficient. Gaddafi. Yeah, before they before and, they and, broke and down, it was, and, uh, could, uh, it was going down. It was nice. I yeah. mean, Fidel was he was straight communist. Yeah, but yeah. he he had a lot of, a lot of other stuff going on too for the yeah. people. Everything was equal. Oh, oh yeah, he did it with racism. Yeah, everybody yeah. was equal. Yeah, and that's Gaddafi, why that's why all the white Cubans left. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. This is it. That's it for our show, man. We just it was a freestyle, man. We was all over the place, but it I enjoyed good, it. It was good freestyle. I like I like flooring like that sometimes, man. Thank Rob for coming through. Rob Rob threw us Rob threw us into different dimensions, man. <laughs> we went into one of them Twilight Zones and we came out on the back side somewhere. Relationships. And somewhere around there, I got lost on the third turn, but I, I got it. Light. It's cool. Gaslight. <laughs> oh man, so what's his, do, what's his do name? Do I know who 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 we know you're going through it. We understand, man. I'm but going through things, it. Things, things will look up. Uh, it's always a brighter day, and trust me, man. These are only challenges that that's only going to help you get stronger in the end. Somebody's going to learn from this, so don't don't let these challenges hold you back, and keep pushing. Trust me, man. I'm a I'm an expert on challenges. I deal with wheelchair stuff all day. But I learned how to go downstairs with a wheelie, so I don't worry about no stairs and challenges. So, <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm out. Uh, what we got on there? And then slide it I up gotcha. and then do the other two down. Hey, hey, the, give me some money. Whatever. Good show, bro. Thanks, man. Hey, thank you for having me. Wow, thanks, yeah, bro. Man. man, you got out. We're going to have you back on the show. Get on your, get on your number and stuff. Yes, thank you. 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 Mm-hmm. We got Mark, but I got. I'm gonna have to really like kind of. I'm still on live. Hush. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just saying we got we gonna what we are gonna do is we are gonna bring some in. We are gonna get that going, and we got some other stuff that other things that's moving. Man. Yeah, you gotta get ready for this. Man. This is gonna be nice. Mm-hmm. So this is a battle, man. Like I said, I wanna see. I wanna see. A, I wanna see a. a Another black thing, man. Another black Wall Street. I know you get done, man. We need to start teaching classes on the bicycle over here. You know, that's the next thing I'm ready to go.